Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon. So today we are going to discuss about the net backup upgrade. Uh, in this topic, uh, we'll cover how to how to upgrade the net backup master server. What are the prereqs and what are the steps we have to perform in the master server upgrade? Right. So first, I have uh, noted down all of these steps. Right. We'll discuss about one by one. So for in the first step, you have to go in the site uh, on the net backup site, the sort.com. Uh, sort let me show you in this in this website you can uh, you can check your uh, the hardware compatibility and the os compatibility from which version to which version you are going like uh, currently you are running on the 7.x uh, version of the net backup master server and the os is the windows 2016 and you are going to perform the upgrade and you go uh, and you are going to the uh, the net backup uh, the 8.x and the os version is the same so we have to verify all these things on the sort veritas. So in this veritas, there is a checklist. Uh, <clears throat> you have to put all the information. Put all the information uh, on this site. It will prepare the checklist for you. So here you can see this is the sort.veritas.com. I have put all these information. And, uh, I have prepared the checklist for the network master server. <coughs> And uh, on the version we are going to upgrade, it's a 10.1. And uh, processor, it's uh, uh, the 64 bit, and the country version is the 8.0. I have selected the master server, media server, and client, right? So you can see it will prepare the checklist for you and what are the prereq steps uh, for you. So you have to read out all these information to prepare your uh, the plan or change, right? Now moving to the next step. So in the next step, uh, in the next step, you have to run the NBCC. So what is this NBCC? It's a backup catalog consistency check. So, uh, <clears throat> So for running this test, first you have to download the NBCC file from the Veritas or uh, from the uh, from the Veritas side. So in this sort.veritas.com, it will provide you the the NBCC uh, the download link. So you can download the NBCC file from here, right? And you can run this file on your master server. It will check the net backup catalog consistency and uh, generate the output file. So that output file you have to share with the Veritas team. They will analyze that file and uh, and share the feedback with you, like your database is consistent or not. If it is consistent, then you then you are good to go. If it is not consistent, then they will provide you the steps to remove the consistency from the from the catalog. Right. So let's suppose um, your net, uh, your catalog is consistent. Then you have to go on the third step. So you have to plan your <coughs> plan your upgrade. Um, like um, uh, let's suppose in your environment you have the op center, master server, media server, the client. So in the upgrade, first we have to upgrade the your op center server, then master server, then media server, then client. Right. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, discuss about the master server upgrade. So in the first step, you have to download the software from the Veritas side. Then in the, sec in the second step, you have to take the, the catalog backup. Secure the media, secure that media on which you have taken the backup or where you have taken the backup like on, on any other disk, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have to secure the DR file. Once the backup is completed, it will generate the DR file. You have to secure that file also and uh, you have to secure the DRPKG file also. If your net backup currently running on the 8.x version or above the 8.x, then it will generate the DRPKG file also. If you are running lower than the 8, then DRPKG file is not generated. You, uh, you will get only the DR file. So what is this DRPKG file? In this DRPKG file, um, actually in the net backup, uh, the version 8.x net backup will reduce the, the token. Right, the um, the fingerprints. So once uh, you are configuring any client, 
uh, <coughs> with the mass server, then it will um, it will generate the then you have to put the tokens, right? And uh, you have provide the fingerprints. Uh, it will it will fetch the fingerprints from the master server. So all these information related to the clients <coughs> is there in this DRPKG file, right? So you have to secure this file also. The third step, <coughs> third step, you have to uh, like uh, after securing this file, you are uh, you are ready for the upgrade. Uh, so before upgrade, you have to do you have to do like uh, you have to perform some steps like uh, you have to deactivate the policies, you have to deactivate the SLPs, you have to deactivate the media servers. Because why we are deactivating and why we are deactivating the SLP like. Uh, <coughs> So once we are going to upgrade it, so we have to uh, we have to deactivate the policies in SL SLP. If we are not going to deactivate, then then uh, during the upgrade might be any SLP like uh, it might be run, right? So it 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 uh, it it can uh, like it can create a problem, right? The third step you can break down the connection between the op center to master server. Uh, sorry, in the fifth step. In the sixth step, you have to stop the net backup services. Then you can start your upgrade. Right, so you have downloaded the, the software and that there is a file um, install file. You have to run that install file. Then it will ask there are the, uh, the lots of thing. <clears throat> and uh, there is a one more thing. Um, uh, we have to discuss in this like uh, currently if you are running on a 7.x and you are going to upgrade and you are going going on a 8 right so um you have to create um, actually they have introduced uh, the web services also right so for running those web services uh, you have to create the one user and group also so that is the nb web svc and the group name is the nb web grp right <clears throat> um then you have to add that user in the logon services in the local security the local security system uh, the local security policies then you can start your upgrade once the upgrade is done you have to you have to check the services and activate the policies and slps and media servers and check the functionality of the mouse server. Then you can verify the latest version. So this is all about the uh, the net backup mouse server upgrade. And these are the prereqs and steps. So while uh, upgrading your mouse server, you have to perform and you have to check these steps. Thank you for watching.